Hey, it's Cody, and since we've completed our Route 66 ride, we're heading down south on Interstate 57 to visit my hometown, Marion, Illinois. But first, we're picking up right where we left off in Chicago, Illinois. We're celebrating the fact that we just rode 2,292 miles with our sweet dog chopper in just nine days. So far, we've raised $6,020 for Wagmore Pets Dog Rescue, and we still have one big fundraising event to go. But first, Chicago Harley Davidson. Hey, what's up? We are at the Harley Davidson in Chicago. We are in Wrigleyville, and we are right across from Wrigley Field. That is where the Cubs play, and I am a huge Cubs fan. I was actually in LA for the Cubs winning the World Series. I was at Sycamore Tavern, and there was a rain delay, and everyone got so freaking drunk, but at the end, I got to hand out shots to everybody, and it was such a good time. I have so many good memories from drinking beer at the Cubs stadium and going to the Cubby Bear. I freaking love it here. Let's go into the Harley-Davidson and maybe get a t-shirt. And there's my friend Brianna we're about to run into. Oh, hi! <laughs> hi, how's it going? It's so fun running into old friends. So they came in to look at bikes with us too. Oh my God, there's a Diablo ST here. Oh, so sexy, so sexy. I remember Jigger showing me this bike in one of our Harley magazines. This thing is sick. Harley-Davidson was founded in 1903 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and is known for its big engines and big sounds. Like thunder making love to a chainsaw. <laughs> we grab brunch with my friend Brianna after this and take any footage, so enjoy that photo. Our good friend and support driver for this trip, Dave, had to catch a flight to Ohio for his band, so we loaded our Kendon Industries motorcycle trailer and drove south. Hey, it's Cody. You know me from Easy Riders Magazine and the TV show Mayans MC. But more than just a butt on TV, this butt is riding the Iron Pony all the way across Route 66 with my Iron Puppy Chopper. Together, we're on a mission to raise money for our favorite dog rescue while forging new friendships along the way. Get ready to shift gears and change lives. Today's episode is brought to you by Neat Cut Lawn Care and Dirt Work. Oh, am I blurring you? I'm sorry. Look how great this lawn is. You can reach them at 618-922-4400 if you are in the Marion, Illinois area. Yay! And now for the answer to last week's Iron Pony Express question of the day. If you guess D, you're correct. Dang, wish that was still today's gas prices. After trailering the bikes, making a few new friends, and saying goodbye to Dave, it was finally time to get out of the Windy City. I was feeling kind of guilty for towing the bikes instead of riding them, but after riding for nine straight days and filming, it's such a relief to relax in the truck with my feet up and enjoy the views while Jigger drives. Our first pit stop is Champaign, Illinois, my old college town. I might be dating myself a little here, but I graduated with my bachelor's in communication 13 years ago. And it's so cool being back and seeing the successes of some of my friends. This is my old boss, Thad, who created Ladro in Notka, a cozy wine bar with unique bites and delicious drinks located on Main Street downtown. I do, I do. <laughs> and this is my crazy friend, Jason, who runs his own tattoo shop, Dark Matter Collective. He's a super talented artist, and we used to be neighbors back in the day. He even let me give him a tattoo. There you go. Oh, that's like perfect. Yay, I got a Cody tattoo. Yay! Oh my god, that's awesome. It's gonna be worth money when I'm famous. <laughs> and why am I just wearing lingerie? I don't know. I had a wild college experience, and I'm so grateful for those good times. But now it's time to hop back in the truck because we got another three hour drive down to visit my family in Marion, Illinois. Luckily, my sister Heather is letting us crash at her beautiful lake house. We are 14 years apart, and she recently told me that she despised babysitting me on Friday nights instead of going out with her friends in high school. So I'm excited to spend some grown up time together and try to make it up to her. This is the Lake of Egypt, which covers 2,400 acres and was man-made by damming the waters of the South Fork of Saline River. It's so big, I can't believe it's man-made. It feels so good to just chill and relax. I took a nap while Jigger smoked a cigar and enjoyed the scenery. 
we pretty much had the whole lake to ourselves. Chopper is chillin' and I'm reppin' my Blue Swallow Motel merch. What a beautiful day. Since we've been highlighting family-owned small businesses across America, it only seems appropriate that we should show you Clark Family's Trucking Company. That's my sister's last name. I have my CDL permit, so if Hollywood doesn't work out, it's nice to know I could always go drive a semi for him. The quick history is, Clark Farms was originally started by Dale Clark in 1985 with only a few trucks to haul grain for local farmers. Then, in 1999, they expanded the business to include Clark Natural Stone and still provide all kinds of rock in bulk to the public to this day. We're talking landscape rock, driveway rock, sand mulch, flagstone, boulders, you name it, they haul it. Then, in 2008, two of Dave's sisters, Judy and Tracy, bought the farm part of the business and it became Clark Transportation, recycling on the move. They now operate 52 trucks out of the Midwest and haul recyclables, ferrous and non-ferrous scrap metal. That's my nephew Devin welding. Fun fact, ferrous means containing iron. So while ferrous scrap is more magnetic, the non-ferrous stuff is more rust resistant. There's no quiz in this episode, but it's always fun to learn something new. If you're in Marion, Illinois and need some hauling, holler. The next day, we caught my nephew Xander's baseball game, who's coached by my sister's husband, Dave Clark himself. Go, Xander, go! Luckily, we won, so we all went out to eat at tequilas afterwards. Of course, we had to take advantage of the nature scene. Uh, make sure you're careful riding around, because there are deer and critters everywhere. We are in Ferncliff, and we're gonna go on the big rocky hollow trail. I love me some big rocky hollows. This is the Shawnee National Forest, which lies between the Mississippi and Ohio River in southern Illinois. Its terrain spans woodlands, hills, and lakes. Wildlife includes bald eagles, even though I've never seen one before. Wow, we are in Shawnee National Forest. We rode our motorcycles here, and it is so breathtaking. I came here as a kid, but after living in the concrete jungle for so long, this is Utterly amazing. You walk in here and you feel like you're in Fern Gully. Like there's cave parts and there's greenery parts and there's bridges and there's secret little hidden rockways where the walkways, rock rockways, where the water has like caved out little secret areas. And I remember as a little kid, there was a place called Batman Squeeze. And it was just like this really narrow thing you had to crawl through. But wow, this is truly breathtaking. I'm so glad we came here. This part right here is like a, it says it's a mile walk in, but I feel like it was less. Maybe it's half a mile in, half a mile out. And stunning, stunning views. Oh my gosh, Chopper loves it. our last official fundraising event for Chopper's Charity Ride. My friend Sarah, who works here, helped coordinate with her team to send out the invites. Oh, there she is now on her little ninja. She is a Harley too, of course. Ah, oh, what a great turnout. This location actually used to be a cornfield. Hey, what's up, Cody's Roadies? We are in Marion, Illinois, my hometown, at Black Diamond Harley Davidson. I couldn't feel more at home. We're at a Harley Davidson in my hometown, Marion, Illinois. What is up? We just finished riding Route 66 for charity. They reached out and wanted to throw us a little welcome home event. We've got so much hometown pride. We are here, we're gonna do a little ride. Before that, we're gonna do a raffle. We're selling t-shirts, stickers, raising money for Chopper's charity. I'm so excited. Let's go. But first, we popped inside to see the owner who threw this party for us and have a little chat. Hey, what's up? I'm here with Shad, the owner of Black Diamond Harley Davidson in Marion, Illinois, and entrepreneur and philanthropist. Could you tell us a little oh. bit about yourself and everything you're doing here? You know what? It's, uh, we're very fortunate here in Southern Illinois. You know, I bought my first Harley, I guess, in 91. I bought a new Heritage. So then I uh, finally was able to buy a dealership in 2007. Now I've got uh, three Harley dealerships and uh, power sports and just a few other things going on around here now. So it's, it's all fun. 
Oh my gosh, hashtag, hashtag goals. <laughs> I want to own a Harley <laughs> Davidson when I grow up. Could you tell us a little bit about what's going on in Marion, Illinois and how, how it's expanding? You know what, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Yeah, we're getting ready to uh, to put in like a Top Golf and, and a huge, uh, the power sports store is going into the mall. There's a bunch of restaurants, hotels. There's just all kinds of growth coming into the area. I'm very excited about that. It's gonna, in the next two years, Marion will, will definitely be on the, ma on the map. When I was a kid growing up here, there was not a lot to do. I would been hanging out in the cornfields. Yep. And there was an arcade, and then it shut down. So we got in a lot of trouble because there was nothing to do. Well, you know what? We still hang out in the cornfield some. You know, it's still fun to, to get out of town every once in a while. You know, I haven't rode all the way across the U.S. like you. You guys have just got done doing. So one of these days. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you have some really crazy stories about riding, though. Can you tell us one of those? You know what? I, I do. I, I can tell you, well. I went home my bachelor party in 93. I was riding, uh, we were riding to New Orleans and got caught in a snowstorm. And uh, yeah, I had to ride through a foot of snow and made it to Memphis as oh, far as we made it. That was one of the wildest rides that I'd been in. But uh, yeah, oh I've done a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of really good ones. And then uh, we were admiring this awesome bike over here. Can we go take a look? And can you tell us a little sure. bit about, because this is your bad boy, right? Yeah, that, this one's mine. It's a, a 23 Road Glide. And uh, you know, I've done a bunch of uh, motor work to it, all the stereo stuff. I've done the lights. I, I don't keep them stock. I change them all around the whole time. And can you tell us who did the welding over here? You know what? That is a new part that just came out from Harley Davidson Racing. And so I went ahead and had uh, had that put on there. You know, I've got the pipes and stuff from Moonshine Harley Davidson and had them do a, a little bit of this stuff for me. So we try to customize a lot of our stuff in-house, but uh, I still have some good friends in the business that, that help me out and everything too. All right, well, thank you so much. This has been so fun. Now that we're talking about motorcycles, I feel like we should get out there and ride. Absolutely. Thank you guys for stopping in. And please come back by and see us again. Got my mom here, and my peppy, and my sister's about to go on the ride too. Yay. And as much as motorcycles are about looking cool, it's also something the whole family can enjoy. Woo. Especially when it comes to the little riders. You like motorcycles? Yeah. Yeah. They're pretty cool, right? Yeah. You're pretty cool. Does your grandma have motorcycles? <laughs> she just said no, but grandma over here says she has five bikes. But I ride on my own bike that was at my house. You're part of the two-wheel crew? Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. I think we got a future motorcycle rider right here. Then it was time for me to get interviewed. It takes you to get from California to Chicago. Heck yeah, we want to get out here and inspire people to be the change they want to see in the world. This is Tony, and he's here with the Marion Star, and we just did a little interview. Pull in on the... Yeah, thank you. Enough chit-chat, let's go ride. Shorties and sporties. Shorties and sporties. Yeah. My sister wanted to come, so this gentle biker man, Mr. Asshole, offered his passenger seat, and off we went. The first time I ever rode on a bike was in high school, getting on the back with a boy I just met. My dad was not stoked. And look at me now helping lead a ride to bring people together for a great cause. I love being back here and riding through old and new places. Last time, Shad was awesome enough to let me borrow a Sportster, but I never thought I'd be able to ride my own bike in my hometown. The streets here are so smooth and wide compared to LA. The air smells so crisp and clean. Also, there are a lot of bugs here. I definitely got smacked in the face by one while riding without a helmet. But it doesn't seem to bother these guys. Look at Heather, looking all happy on that motorcycle. We're getting closer to our destination, and I'm excited to see where Micah is taking us. Woohoo! We made it to the top! My sister loved it. She's gonna want her own bike by the time this is done. Yes. Look at this view. This is a lookout point for Bald Knob Cross, which is an awe inspiring spiritual monument where people of all cultures and backgrounds can experience hope, joy, and peace. They even do a blessing of the bikes where thousands of people show up. But honestly, I was just happy to be here surrounded by good company. It's so awesome to feel welcome back in our hometown and get to ride motorcycles in our hometown. This place looks completely different than anywhere else we've ridden, and it's his first time riding here and only my second time riding here. Definitely never in this area. So thank you so much for leading. And Sarah, thank you so much for organizing. And everybody, thank you so much for coming out. We really appreciate you. It's all for Chopper's Charity, which all goes to a dog rescue. So 
Just thank you guys for coming out. We really appreciate it. And thanks for the cool ride. Anytime. Yeah. Awesome. And back down we go. I was stoked to hear some of our group riders' stories. For example, one older gentleman said he'd been riding his whole life, but this was his very first group ride, and it was a blast! Yay! Yay! Oh, yes! High five! Thank you guys. Right, man. Yes, sir. I'm so glad you guys parked next to each other because I wanted the two sporties right here. Hey, sporty love. <laughs> Woo, we did it. Started with a ride and ended with a ride. Now there's only one thing left to do. Fast forward one week later, back on the West Coast, baby. Time to give a giant whopping check to some pups in need. Look, Ma, no hands. Shout out to Wagmore Pets Dog Rescue for all you do for the dogs in need. I'm so stoked to hand over this $7,000 check from our charity ride. 100% of the proceeds goes to food, vet bills, rent, cleaning supplies, transportation, and the millions of other costs that comes with saving these precious puppies. Oof, look how happy I look. I'm in doggy heaven. Thank you so Thank much. You. Oh my gosh! What an amazing feeling handing the $7,000 check over to Wagmore Pets. That is gonna help so many dogs. Chopper has been such a staple in my life, teaching me about unconditional love. Oh, am I boring you? Um, licking my face when I'm feeling sad and it feels so good to do something to give back to the community. We love dogs so much. This ride was so incredible. I feel so grateful. Thank you all for your donations. You're the reason this could all happen. And um, thank you so much, The Iron Pony Show. <laughs> I can't say it enough, what an amazing experience. And from the bottom of our hearts, Chopper and I thank you for all you've contributed to this amazing doggy cause. And while Route 66 has come to a close, we promise to continue to shift gears and change lives no matter where we go. Thanks so much for watching. Shout out to Black Diamond Harley Davidson in Marion, Illinois for an epic event. Shout out to this episode's sponsor, Neat Cut Dirt in Marion, Illinois, and to our amazing cast and crew, you guys rock. Today we raised $980 for a total of $7,000 for Chopper's charity. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and comment where we should ride to next. Catch you Cody's roadies out in the wild. Let's shift gears, change lives.